According to the figures that I have from the CDC and NIH, the total amount that we're spending currently on AIDS research and care with the Ryan White Care Act and Medicaid is over $8 billion. And our position is that there's a gross uh, disproportionate allocation of funds when it comes to um, treatment of AIDS as opposed to the number one killer, which is heart disease. We just need to redirect the numbers so that there is a fair and even ratio, especially when a lot of the money that we're spending goes to things that we know will not prevent AIDS, but indeed will continue to spread the disease. When a lot of our money goes to distribute condoms in high schools, when a lot of our money goes to distribute material that is literally pornographic. It's hard for me to have a, a whole lot of sympathy for someone that goes out and does something that they know they shouldn't do and gets it. I mean, it's like a bank robber getting shot in the act of committing the robbery. It's hard to have, have sympathy for them. Christine O'Donnell. He makes an excellent point, um, and the caller before him referred to people who get AIDS as victims. It's that kind of um, spinning with words and manipulating words that empowers um, the bias when it comes to AIDS. There are types of cancer that no behavior um, will, will directly make you contract cancer. It's just, it's just an act of God. But AIDS, your behavior is directly... Um, connected to whether or not you get AIDS. Prevention money is utilized by local communities to do counseling and testing programs and targeted prevention programs towards populations at high risk as determined by them. Not determined by you, thank God. Not determined by me, not determined by the federal government. So to bring out these anecdotes when the majority of care money is being used to get people life-saving drugs to make sure they're not in not, homeless shelters and to, there's certainly behaviors associated with contracting HIV but that doesn't make it any different from any other major chronic disease that plagues this country I think it's that kind of um, presumption that is fueling the fire and making AIDS spread so rapidly um, Heart disease is something associated with behavior. And when somebody finds out that they're at high risk for heart disease, they cut out the fatty foods, they start exercising, they quit smoking. However, our approach to AIDS when you're in a high risk behavior is to eliminate the consequences so that you can continue in your lifestyle, which brings about this disease. If we would just claim personal responsibility in this country for our behavior and our lifestyle, we can wipe out AIDS within a generation.